kids, Kate Clinton here. Thanks for stopping by. Greetings from Provincetown, where it's a little less humid. We recently found a dry towel in town. Quite exciting. And uh, I know what you're wondering. What does she think about the Pope's new thing? Well, here's what happened. The Pope was, uh, did a press conference, 80-minute press conference, on a plane flying back from Brazil. He stood the whole time. Everybody sat in their seats. I'm thinking, you're infallible. Okay. But seatbelts, pal. Okay. And uh, the Pope said, you know, if there's uh, someone who is homosexual, who's seeking to find Jesus in his life, who am I to judge? Oh, don't be coy, Franny. Who am I to judge? Because I've gone through the same thing as a homosexual looking for Jesus in my life. Is that what you're saying? I think what we're seeing is a a shift in tone, you know, from uh, not a change in policy or practice, but a shift in tone to a, a kinder, gentler patriarchy. Oh my goodness, and you know, how hard that could that be after Pope Benny the Dick, Benny the, whatever, the eggs Benedict, ex Benedict. Anyway, uh, you also asked me about what I've been thinking about Wiener. Well, my God, I can't believe we're even talking about this, but I think that Wiener should have a little more of the NSA notion of privacy and secrecy about his life, and the NSA should have a little more of the Wiener notion of transparency. Not full on and full frontal, but you know what I'm saying. You didn't even ask me about what I think about the cutting of the food stamp program from the farm bill. Oh, kiss my Earl butts. And recently, Hillary and uh, President Obama had a uh, lunch uh, at the White House outdoors. I don't know if it was a beer summit, but I sure wish I could have heard what they were talking about. If you had your vacation already for the summer, Try to keep it in mind. If you're going on vacation, have a great time. Enjoy August. Thanks for stopping by.